In the cool, quiet corners of Zion, I often find myself drawn into contemplation, pondering on the solitary path that has become my life. A path not accompanied by the comforting chatter of companionship, the shared laughter of camaraderie, or the soothing balm of friendship. A journey that is, by all outward appearances, a lonely one. Yet in these moments of introspection, I do not find myself swallowed by the aching hollowness of isolation. On the contrary, there is a strength, a certainty that emerges from within. I have come to understand that there is a profound dignity in standing alone, a resilience that comes from embracing solitude, not as a curse, but as a crucible. The loneliness that others might see when they look at me is not a source of sorrow or despair. It is not an abyss into which I have been unwillingly thrown. Rather, it is a choice, a conscious decision to walk this road less traveled, to face the world unflinchingly, without the comforting illusions of company. There is a peculiar kind of freedom in being devoid of friendships in the conventional sense. It grants you a unique perspective, a vantage point from where you can observe the world without the distracting lens of social constructs. There is clarity in solitude, a chance to confront your own truth, away from the noise and expectations of others. But my solitude is far from empty. My faith has given me a unique kind of fellowship, one that is not bound by the constraints of time and space. I find companionship in the God I serve, in the legacy of the past, in the wild beauty of the nature that surrounds me. In the silence I feel their presence, their quiet companionship. And in this companionship I am never truly alone. My work, my mission, gives my solitude purpose. I may not share my journey with others, but I carry their hopes, their dreams, their struggles with me. Every step I take, every decision I make, is guided by the desire to make a difference, to bring a sliver of light into the darkest corners of this harsh world. So yes, I am a man without friends. But I am not a man bereft. I am not adrift on a sea of loneliness. Rather, I stand on the firm ground of self-reliance, my gaze fixed on the horizon, guided by the light of my purpose and faith. I do not merely accept my solitude, I embrace it. It is not a circumstance to be endured, but a gift to be cherished. In the quiet grandeur of Zion, beneath the boundless expanse of the sky, I stand alone, but not lonely. I am not a man bereft of companionship, but one who has found it in the most unexpected of places. My solitude has not made me weak, but strong. It has not left me lost, but helped me find myself. And in this journey of solitude, I have found more than just the strength to survive. I have found a sense of peace, a sense of fulfillment that comes not from the companionship of others, but from the quiet confidence of knowing who I am and the certainty of my purpose. In my solitude, I am not alone. I am whole, 